Hello everyone. In this session, we are briefly going to discuss about the different conversational patterns or agentic workflows offered by Autogen. I have listed down four different most common conversational patterns, which are the two-way chat, the group chat, the sequential chat, as well as the nested chat here. But the very first two conversational patterns we already have dealt with in a couple of our previous sessions. The two-way chat here is the most simplistic agentic workflow, which typically involves a couple of agents, preferably a user proxy agent and an assistant agent. The user proxy agent and assistant agent converse with each other or talk to each other and try and solve a specific problem. We have practically implemented the same in one of our earlier sessions. The group chat here involves a group chat manager. So the group chat manager here acts as an orchestrator where it tries to orchestrate the different agents at its disposal. So it's going to choose which of these agents could be the next speaker. So choosing the next speaker basically has got several strategies. The next speaker could be chosen based upon a round robin fashion or a random selection or a manual selection. And in fact, when we have implemented, we have left it to the LLM to actually understand the intent of our query better and try and choose the next speaker to be more precise. This is a default way of determining what could be the next speaker for a given problem that we are trying to solve. So the group chat manager acts as an orchestrator here, which chooses the next speaker and then iterates or broadcasts that particular message to the remaining agents as well, so that all these different agents are on the same page. So they are context aware in terms of how the problem is getting solved. Okay. For those who are not comfortable with the two-way chat and group chat, please revisit our previous sessions where we have practically implemented both of these conversational patterns. So in this session, we are briefly going to cover about what sequential chat is and then nested chat. Sequential chat as it's represented here in this particular diagram, involves two sets of agents. Here, this is a first set of agent and this is a second set of agent. So here, agent A is chatting with agent B, exchanging the messages with agent B. And the same user agent, which is nothing but the agent A here, the same user agent again is conversing with agent C here. But whatever conversation history that we had in the first set of agents, is being carried over to the next agent or next set of agents in a sequential manner by using this carryover mechanism. So that is, let's say that we are looking at solving a specific problem where we are trying to implement or create a chatbot for a banking system. Let's say that we are HDFC bank IT department. So we are planning to create a chatbot for this particular bank or HSBC, whichever bank you would prefer to have it. So it doesn't matter. This is a use case that we are dealing with, wherein you are looking at creating a chatbot and we are implementing the sequential chat pattern here. As and when the user tries to message to this particular chatbot, it first routes to a specialist agent. Specialist agent, which specializes in solving any user questions here. So once the user discusses with specialist agent, exchanges all the information and try and resolve all the queries that he or she has. We just carry over whatever data that we obtain from this particular conversation to the next set of agents, which is a surveyor agent. The surveyor agent typically here would collect the feedback or try to perceive what the feedback is based upon the context that it's been derived from the previous set of agents. Using this carryover mechanism, the LLM basically summarizes all the messages that are exchanged between agent A and agent B and the summary is being fed forward as context to your surveyor agent here or the next set of agents. So this is a sequential chat pattern where we are implementing two different sets of agents with a carryover mechanism in place, which are completely sequential in nature. Okay. I believe that you have understood on what carryover here does mean. It does mean that the LLM is basically summarizing all the conversations that happened between agent A and agent B and sending that as a context to the subsequent set of agents, which is going to be agent C here because the same user agent is there in both these two different chats, which are sequential in nature. When you look at holistically here. Okay. And finally, whatever problem that you are trying to solve, that is to provide a good customer experience to the user who is questioning about uh, the net banking or mobile banking services is satisfied to a good extent. The customer experience is good, is what our end objective or goal here is. Okay. 
without any further ado let's look at uh, solving or practically implementing whatever use case that we have discussed so far so let me actually expand this two way chat that we already have dealt with i am going to copy all this code till lm config because this remains the same irrespective of uh, what conversational pattern you are trying to implement here setting up the llm config at least remains the same i also have the dot env file which is updated with all the necessary it's updated with all the necessary keys as well as the base url here so i'm going to make use of open ai key and let me update the model as well as the key here the api key here so gpt40 is a model that i am going to leverage for conducting this exercise so the base url would still remain the same i am going to additionally provide this parameter called price with floating point values as 0 and 0 indicating that whatever price that's associated with different api invocations that i am making is free of cost because we know that we are making these api calls for free of cost okay and then once the llm config is set up we basically would create this user agent using user proxy agent class and within parenthesis we are providing the name of this particular agent which is going to be the user agent itself the human input mode is going to be always and code execution config is yet another parameter which we have learned is required for us to set up while creating the user agent here so whatever llm config that we have defined in the previous step needs to be provided here that's it so now you basically have created this user agent and once the user agent is created now you are looking at creating the specialist agent like we have understood previously the first step here is to create the specialist agent the second step here is to create the surveyor agent and we are also going to implement the carry over mechanism that is to actually forward whatever context that we observe in the first chat as a context to your subsequent chat okay cool now this is going to be the assistant agent here so assistant agent and the name of this assistant agent here is going to be the specialist and let's also provide the system message clearly indicating the role of this particular assistant agent so this assistant agent i'm naming it as specialist here so the system message i already have the predefined text for this particular agent that we are looking at so i basically have pasted the system message completely now let me actually change these quotes in order to not throw any error here okay so let me indent this properly as well so it's more readable in a way cool so once we have set the system message we also would need to provide the llm config which we have defined in one of our previous steps so we basically have created the user agent as well as the specialist agent so far similarly let's also create the surveyor agent right okay let's go about creating the surveyor agent as well i'll just rename the specialist to surveyor also the name of it and i switch back and get the role of the surveyor agent the role of the surveyor agent is to collect the feedback or the collect the user experience from the end user who is asking some queries to the specialist here so if you look at the role of the specialist it's clearly stated that this is an expert customer care representative at bank and objective of specialist is to provide user with best possible banking solutions similarly the surveyor is responsible for collecting customer satisfaction ratings and the rating should be on the scale of 1 to 10 okay so now we essentially have defined the roles of specialist and surveyor agents and now is the time that we basically would need to initiate our chats it's not initiate chat method that we need to invoke it should be initiate chats since this is sequential chat pattern which typically involves a couple of chats here as we have learned from this particular diagram there are two different chats the first chat is in between the user agent and the specialist and the second chat is in between the user agent and the surveyor here so now let's go about initiating the chats the first chat the first recipient here is going to be so it should be recipient the first recipient here is going to be the specialist that we have defined previously okay 
and what is the message what is the initial message the initial message can be a simple hi or hello okay and what is the summary method i'll explain in a while on what the summary method is i'm providing it as reflection with llm so reflection with llm so what basically is happening with summary method reflection with llm is that we are trying to summarize all the conversation that happened in between user and specialist using reflection with llm method that is it summarizes all the conversations that occurred in between user and specialist here and we also have discussed that this needs to be forwarded as the context to your subsequent agent which is going to be the surveyor agent here which is going to be the subsequent recipient in our case so what is the subsequent recipient the subsequent recipient here is going to be surveyor let's provide surveyor here okay let's also indent this properly so here we are going to provide an initial message as well the initial message for surveyor is going to be to provide this message like for asking the user to rate their service experience on the scale of 1 to 10 okay and here we also need to implement the carryover that we have discussed in detail the carryover should be the context here we'll also provide summary here within the list okay so whatever summarization that you have done with reflection with llm parameter here you basically consider all of that summary information as a context while you initiate the chat with surveyor here and when should this particular agent be invoked and when should this surveyor be invoked so what is a triggering condition or what is a trigger condition here the trigger condition here is going to be hand over to surveyor so let's provide this as hand over to surveyor and that's all so when surveyor should be triggered so when you basically complete discussing with specialist when you resolve all of your queries with specialist so at the end when the user exits from that particular chat it will be handed over to surveyor that's what trigger condition hand over to surveyor actually means here and the carry over mechanism that we have put in place is reflection with llm that is it's considering all the summary information instead of this you can also use last message where instead of passing the complete summary as a context it will only pass the last message as a context to the subsequent agent initiation of chat here okay i believe we are pretty much clear with all what we have done so far and now let's look at running this code when you run this code you typically observe that user is invoking specialist and we need to provide our query or question to the specialist so we'll allow the specialist to provide answers to our query let's say that i am unable to log in to net banking i need your help So this is a question that I have passed to specialist. So the specialist replied with a polite message stating that, sorry to hear about uh, the, inc the inconvenience and it's asking us to confirm if we are getting any error message while logging in or we have recently changed the user or password or are we using the correct device or browser for this attempt. So let's choose option one here and let's see what's the response that we are getting. So it's asking, can you please provide the exact error message that we are receiving when you are trying to log in if we are providing the right error message this particular bot or this particular specialist agent might reply with a more reasonable and appropriate message altogether but i do not have any error message as such since we are only simulating this so let me exit from this chat here so as you can see it's terminating the run completely and now the user handed over the control to surveyor and it also has provided the context as summary of whatever discussion happened in between user and specialist here. So now surveyor is asking the user to provide the service experience rating. I'm providing 10 points here. So which is that the user is completely satisfied. And now you can clearly understand that surveyor replied with a message stating, thank you for the feedback. And we are glad to hear that you are satisfied with the overall experience. And once I have pressed exit, we clearly understand that we are also terminating the complete run. So here we basically have observe, 
initially we started off the conversation in between the user agent and the specialist agent and for whatever net banking question that we have asked agent b supplied with necessary information and with the carry over mechanism we took the summary of the discussion that happened pass this as a context to our subsequent agent which is a surveyor agent and surveyor agent typically asked a question to the user agent the surveyor agent typically asked a question to the user agent asking it to provide the rating on the scale of 1 to 10 and we have provided a survey rating of 10 and then we ended the chat by providing exit so all this information can be stored in the memory which we have not integrated yet or we can basically try and save all of these history or summary or in fact the customer ratings that we are providing in a database tables as well so that you keep track of the interactions of the customers with the net banking solutions provider or the banking solutions provider altogether okay i believe you have pretty much understood on how we implement sequential chat conversational pattern here and what exactly sequential chat is also what you must be completely aware of now and in the next session we are briefly going to understand what nested chat is and how we are going to implement the nested chat by considering a practical problem altogether okay so that's all in this particular session and thanks for watching